Good afternoon and happy Monday to all of your sunshiny faces. So guys, today I spent almost the entire day outside up until about 2 o'clock. Um, we put in the garden, the vegetable and fruit-ish garden. And then also um, just spent the whole day pretty much on the back porch because it was a beautiful 80 degrees out today and then also too I did some yard work so um, then I ended up coming in and took a shower at like 2 o'clock and then I just kind of chilled until now and it was just about 5 o'clock I watched two TV shows and then um, that I was not caught up on yet <laughs> now I'm going to make dinner for tonight which I am making a breakfast dinner quiche kind of thing so um, I will share post the recipe link down below for you guys but I am using one of the two pie crusts that are in here the already made pie crust this entire thing of shredded cheese a little bit of flour pepper salt a little bit of half and half um, probably only one or two of these things of broccoli and then also eggs as well so that is going to be the quiche I'm also going to do a side zucchini salad and then also cantaloupe um, and a side salad as well which I'll share that with you guys when I make them but I just want to let you guys know what is the plan for dinner tonight so that is what I'm gonna need to make it and now I'm gonna cook it up alright guys so this is the everything I'm gonna need for the zucchini bake I've made a zucchini bake semi similar to this a little bit I might add a little bit of mozzarella cheese as well over the top just to see how it tastes and stuff like that but um, this one's different I'll leave again the recipe link below I had these were left over and the zucchini stayed okay for a pretty while in the fridge i had one regular zucchini and two or three um organic zucchinis from i think it was like two weeks ago or something like that and they're still fine so i'm going to use these and then the zucchini that i bought this week used for something else um but i got four zucchinis in total these ones are the organic and one not black pepper sea salt basil oregano parsley and um organic grape tomatoes again two of these were from maybe a week or two ago um but they're still pretty fine so i'm just going to use those and then a little bit of minced garlic as well so that's what i'm going to use and throw it all in here pretty much and then put it in the oven it's supposed to bake 350 for i think 35 minutes or so but i'm going to leave it in with the quiche that's supposed to bake at 375 for just a little bit less time like maybe 20 uh 25 or like 30 or so minutes um so we'll see how it ends up turning out but that's what i'm going to need for this the salad for tonight is going to consist of one of the romaine hearts a third of a head of iceberg lettuce one of the roma tomatoes a full cucumber and one carrot that i'm going to shred up and add into the big bowl so that is the side salad for tonight so dinner is done guys we've got our quiche the cheese broccoli quiche cantaloupe the zucchini and tomato bake and then also the side salad so that is how dinner turned out for tonight we're gonna dig in i got that on camera where'd you get that shirt from matthew you've never worn it i, I just found it <laughs> anyways guys i want to tell you look at how pretty that quiche came out so perfectly look at I that like these Look at that. No. You know what? Nobody else has a problem with those things they except for you. Right. <laughs> no. You try to grab it and it moves on you. Like you just use it like a spoon then. Yeah, like use it on one side and then hold you hold it with the other one. Yeah, and then No, no, hold it. Hold it. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Yeah, just wanted to share that pretty quiche with you guys. Jack's got it. Yeah, you use the one like like a spoon and then you use the other one just to hold it in place so it doesn't fly away so guys the, the zucchini that i made tonight yeah. honestly smelled smelt. so the zucchini that i made tonight tasted delicious i think it's my favorite type of zucchini that i made this way before or the fa my favorite way that to, of making it now and we're watching the hawks which right now it is tied third period 2-2 two -two. this is one is for all the marbles whoever wins this is going on to continue um so it's a pretty big game and right now it is all tied up at 2-2 so um yeah guys it's an intense game right now and you know like i said it's for all the marbles so it's definitely a big game for tonight well guys that is it that will do it for the hawk season this year they are done they lost just after i was done talking to you guys um like within the next few minutes um the other team ended up scoring and we didn't 
come back. Um, it was actually crazy though because there was a puck that bounced gold gold post and did not go in. I was screaming because I thought it had and it didn't. Anyways guys, this is a year of disappointment for all of my sports teams. Panthers lost in the Super Bowl. Bulls didn't even make it to the playoffs. You know, they were fighting for the playoff spot even. Blackhawks can't get past round one. Guys, pretty sad. <laughs> and then, too, the Bears didn't even make it to the playoffs. I mean, yeah. So, but, I mean, we got the Cubs to look forward to. But, I don't know, guys. I think I've told you this before, too. I'm, I, I like baseball. And even, too, like, as we were watching, I was like, you know, this isn't as bad as I remember it being. But, I don't know. It's not as interesting as, as hockey. Like, you know, like, baseball just to me is, it's not as, like, energizing, you know what I mean? If that makes sense. Like, watching hockey, you know, you'll have a really good hit or when you, when somebody makes that goal, you know, it's huge or whatever when it's a really close game. But baseball could, you could have it be like, you know, you could be up almost five you know, runs, and then you could be, you know, end up coming back and be up five runs, you know, something like that, like, you know, it's, it's very, um, common to come back from a huge lead or something like that, whereas in hockey, it's not quite as common, so, like, every goal really, really, really matters, if that makes sense, I feel like, um, and again, guys, I'm just kind of rambling on here, but, um, you know, I guess that's why I wanted to watch hockey all summer and I don't get to, you know, because it was like perfect too because last year the the Hawks season ended up going like right until right around I think base or uh, right around the time like um, football had kind of started I think it was because it started a little bit after that but it went up, you know, like through most of summer and then the football starts, you know, late summer early fall whatever time that starts and so you know it like came out the perfect timing and now I got this whole section of time where only baseball is going to be on tv I mean there's no other hockey teams that I really follow and although I do like some baseball or some basketball teams there's nobody that I really follow 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 right, guys anyways though it is about 10 30 we didn't even make it into overtime i was kind of hoping they would have taken them into overtime at least and if they lost in overtime you know they did but yeah it seems like though it's an every other year kind of thing with the hawks so next year they're gonna come out better than ever i'm hoping um but you know there's always next year so Anyways, though, guys, I will talk to all of you guys in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe. And I will talk to all of you guys in tomorrow's vlog. So, bye, guys. Stuff, But there was also a lot of snacky stuff that we don't normally get in here. Like, two things that have peanut butter bars, Nutri-Grain bars. Um, one is for my mom, one is for me of these. My dad also picked up six yogurts for this week um let's see i'm just gonna go over the snacky stuff i guess my mom got veggie chips and pretzels i think she's going to make a um uh what's it called uh like trail mix with the pretzels and then she also got uh m&ms in there too and then i got a thing of these cheddar puffs for myself and then one for me and one for matthew of the baked penguins so yeah that well guys happy wednesday wednesday huh? oh goodness so guys happy Sunday, goodness. Okay, wait, let's start that over again.